Welcome to Prolific Perspective. This is Kamal Hassan, your host and founder of Prolific Animation Studio. We are all about exploring innovation, entrepreneurship, and how to be successful. Today, we have an amazing guest with us, Greg Fox, an award-winning film producer and a producer of Friends of Smoot, a featured film released in 90s. Hey, Greg, how are you? I'm good, yeah. Happy to be here. <laughs> all right, pleasure. So, Greg, uh, uh, please give your brief introduction to our audience. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I grew up in the motorcycle industry. My family's business was uh, Fox Racing, founded back in 1974. And uh, my experience specifically with movie production uh, and film production uh, started in 1993 when, um, after watching surf brands and snowboard brands and skateboard brands, create marketing videos to to uh, sell to their customers and, and really promote their their products and their professional athletes. I came with the idea to, to do the same thing with our with our motocross company. So um, we started uh, basically we, we bought film cameras, uh, actually not even film cameras, video cameras and um, and went out shooting and uh, editing to music. The very first video we, we made was called Terra Firma. We expected to sell maybe a couple thousand uh, on VHS, and we ended up selling that first Christmas. We sold 40,000 units. Um, and so then we we knew we had something on our hands that was not only um, bringing in revenue, but also marketing our brand really strong. So we expanded our film production team and... Uh, bought better cameras and made more and more films and so all through the 90s we we expanded and you you were saying that you were into the motorcycle industry and all of that you know you still uh do those things or not at all so I, um 10 years ago we sold the business um so so i i exited the industry at that point um and the business still exists it's actually um it's it's moved down to southern california and um yeah but i've i've been out out of the business for i, I had a 30-year career in the business and, and in the motorcycle industry and and now i'm actually working with adam on a uh, a documentary film um about the industry about the the top the top professional riders back in the 90s um mm -hmm. and uh so we've just we've just got the financing lined up and shooting starts this month the 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 two stars for the for the film is um the seven time supercross champion jeremy mcgrath mm -hmm. and um and then jeff emig who was his nemesis back in the 90s and so um you know this this documentary film is really gonna gonna highlight their their rivalry their racing rivalry and so they will we'll have interviews with them um and we'll have uh you know archival footage of them seen and then of course you know, various people from the industry so but th th those are the two names that people would know jeremy mcgrath and uh, jeff emig <laughs> yeah all right so greg uh your transition from a film production background to creating an animated feature film how have you found this experience challenging? Oh, the, uh, challenging in a, a number of ways. Um, you know, the obviously, I still to this day really don't know how animation works. <laughs> so, um, you know, when I had a vision in my mind about how a scene would look, um, you know, I didn't, I, I, I didn't know what the animators would be up against, what I needed to provide to them as far as references um, and then uh, how to work with the animators uh, to uh, minimize their their redos, the, the amount of work they would have to, to put in. Because until I would see that the, the first iteration, I, you know, I didn't know what they, what direction they might need um, as far as uh, executing the vision. What were your budgets for, for? What were your budgets for Friends of Smoke when you were producing that movie? Uh, Fred, so Friends of Smoke was actually a a feature length film. Most of these previous ones were were about forty five minutes long, but Friends of Smoke was feature length. 
the budget, uh, we started out with a quarter million dollar budget, but it, we blew right through that and ended up spending about half a million dollars back in 1997. So if yeah. I take that half a million today, that should have like worth around $5 million, $10 million? Well, I, I don't know what the inflation rate was, but yeah, it's definitely north of a million dollars for sure. Probably a million and a half or something like that. It was it was shot completely on 16 millimeter film. Um, and uh, yeah, it had a, had a crazy cast. If you, if you look it up on YouTube, Fresno Smooth with a Z in Fresno, you can... Uh, you can see some of the crazy characters we had in that film. <laughs> All right, so coming from you, like your transition from a film production background to an animated featured film, how have you found this experience challenging? Well, I would say the, uh, the you know the first the the first uh, thing that comes to mind would be um, how to how to communicate a vision to the animation team of uh, you, know, you can supply a script and um, and some photographs um, but um, you know how do you actually uh, communicate to the team what your vision is and and, and how can they ex execute on that and you know it's, it gets really tricky to do something like uh, the end of my film the last Five minutes of my my film was was a montage and so it's it's kind of non-stop scenes and uh um yeah so um this is my first experience doing this <laughs> and uh so we kind of yeah, adam the uh the director um and the, the guy that he actually wrote fresno smooth for me back in the 90s so that's how i know adam and uh i brought him on board to help me with this and so his his um, way of communicating that was um, via a, a previs, which I'd never even heard of a previs before. Um, yeah, so he he created a previs that he supplied to the animators. All right. So, what was your what was your vision for creating this feature film? Well, uh, it was it's a personal project of mine, and so it was uh, my my twenty fifth anniversary was coming up, and I wanted to, to come up with a, a very creative um surprise for my wife and uh and so instead of giving her a you know a diamond necklace or or um you know a vacation to tahiti i decided to, to put the budget you in decided, you decided to give her the memories right so uh, yeah 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 exactly so yeah my my I mission was to recreate uh -huh. so, yeah uh, yeah so it was to recreate um when we first met back uh, uh when we were college kids and um as opposed to like a, a you know a, a photo album or something like that, I I had the idea of doing it in cartoon format. Um, so and, and then actually using you know my voice and some of the voices of the people that were were in um, you know were there when when we met that summer. Uh, I even actually wanted to have her voice in it. I I tried to like secretly record record her voice and and I was thinking that maybe yeah I could could generate her voice for her lines, but but that didn't work out. So I actually had her 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 old one of her best friends from from college uh, record her voice. Right. So in how many countries or states has this featured film premiered already? So far, it's just premiered here in my hometown for her for my wife. Um, we had a I rented a theater and uh, you know. It was a big surprise. So I hired, you know, got a limo limousine, and uh, and we went out for the with our kids, and uh, ended up at the theater. And and she had no idea what what to expect. The, you know, the movie poster was out front, and on the marquee of the theater was the name of the of the film. And then, and then we walked in the actual theater, and it was packed with with all our friends. So that's so that's the, the we've done that premiere, and then next week we're doing a premiere uh, for all her Canadian friends. Great. So, uh, uh, Greg, any advices for young entrepreneurs and people uh, who are in their early days of career in, you know, trying to hustle and trying to achieve something and give an impact to the industry or to the world? Any advices to the young entrepreneurs? Uh, you know, if, if you're fortunate enough to to be working in a field that is a passion of yours, then then that is a huge um 
you know, part of the equation really, because you, you, you know, it doesn't feel like work and you're thinking about it all the time and you're waking up at three in the morning and with a new idea and you're jotting it down. Um, so, um, yeah, it sounds cliche, but yeah, follow your passion and, uh, and put, put everything into it and, uh, good things will come. And any feedback for a prolific studio? Oh yeah. Prolific, uh, was, uh, it was incredible to work with the, um, you know, quite often we would get back a, uh, you know, a one minute sequence and there would be things in it that, that just blew us away as far as the attention to detail, especially with the characters, um, little subtleties, you know, hand movements and their, um, their eyes and, and uh, body language. Um, you know, th those things that, I didn't even think about when you know writing the script and um, and doing the previous, but those things really bring a cartoon to life. And so, um, the, the the team that that created those scenes uh, was incredible. As far as you know, the next chapter. Um, so my my plan is to um, after the premieres, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the film uh, 15 minute film up, up on YouTube and. Uh, and see what kind of um, you know reaction it gets to you know throughout the world, and uh, who knows, we'll we'll take it from there. <laughs> it, you know, it would be fun to you know, it was it was incredibly fun for me to to make this. And uh, Adam, who I worked with, uh, likewise says it's he's told me that you know it's one of the most fun projects he's ever done in his life. So um, yeah, we we. Uh, you know, cartoon making can be addictive, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is indeed. Okay, Grant, thank you so much for joining us today. Good, yeah, that's exciting. Good right. talking to you. Thank All you. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.